Let's pick up on this idea of consumer confidence and what it could mean for London's housing market. I'm joined by the property expert, Kate Faulkner. Lots of people, Kate, will be worried tonight, concerned. Sure. What can you tell people about what you think will happen to interest rates now? OK, well, we, we kind of have two shocks. And certainly on the interest rate side, that's actually the second shock that can come into the system, whereby if interest rates do rise for any reason, that might increase the cost of the mortgage. And therefore, that affects homeowners and potential buyers as well. That's what happened in the credit crunch. That's why we fell. Prices in London fell by mm. about 15 to 20 percent. However, there's another effect that happens just before that, which we will see first, and that is buyer confidence. And just like we talked about consumer confidence, mm. we actually you can't really model it because we've no idea how buyers are going to react. My gut feel says buyers would normally kind of hold off. And I'd certainly encourage you just to keep going, keep looking. You don't have to make offers, but don't kind of just pull out of the market straight away. Um, and we have seen that before. And what that can do is just cause a, a sort of slow down in the market, slow house prices down and flatten them as opposed to, and do that temporarily, as opposed to cause them to fall as we saw before. That needs something like a bit of a stronger shock. OK, lots of Londoners aren't anywhere near the housing market. You know, that they can't dare to dream about owning their own house or flat. In terms of Brexit, some people will say, you know, controlling EU migration could ease the housing crisis in the capital. What are your thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts on that is that's probably more towards the rental market than anything else. Now, um, rents tend to move in line with wages at this moment in time, which is a good thing. But if we see inflation rise faster, which may happen because of the impact of sterling, then that will make it actually more difficult for landlords to increase the rent. So um, actually, renters will be fine. But as far as demand is concerned, there's so little rental stock out there at the moment, mm. certainly in the private sector, that even you take quite a bit of the demand away, I think that will just make it slightly easier maybe to find a rental property but I don't think it's going to make it quite as easy as everybody thinks because there's no support behind the rental market at the moment. Okay, Kate Faulkner, thank you.